Hey everyone, Winaway here, and today guys I'm going to give you a quick look-see into Felforged and what's waiting for you once we get this released in about 9 days, 29th of January. It's soon going to be there, I'm very excited for it, I hope you are also. So here we have the character, without any further ado, I'm just going to play it and walk you through, commentate along the way, and you'll see how it feels like and what differences there are compared to the previous Feltouch mode, what is new, and overall what the gameplay is like. Let's let's get going, shall we? So we talk to Stony Tark after we get our build. Uh, this is a very lucky build, obviously. Frostbolt, Frost Armor, Holy Light, and Life Tap. Obviously, without, without saying I'm going to go Frost, full into Frostbolt. Let's see what we roll at level 20. <laughs> Loud. <laughs> All right, so we've managed to get overpower. So shortly, I'm going to start re-rolling some of these. We haven't got any Scrolls of Fortune yet. And unknown, I think this warrants a relog. <laughs> this, by the way, guys, is not live, obviously. This is the developer realm that I've been given access to, just so that I can show to you how Felforge is going to be in about nine days. Obviously, there are still things... Uh, work in progress in this version right now. This is the developer realm once again. Disclaimer. So if there are bugs or any kind of errors or crashes, uh, just so you know, in about nine days they should hopefully all be fixed. All right, let's see now what do we have. There we go. We have 10 scrolls of fortune and we're going to start re-rolling these guys. So I want to get rid of bear form and defensive stance first. These are obviously free re-rolls as you're familiar from Wildguard. Ah, uh, we got Thunderclap because of our defensive stance. Hopefully once we reroll defensive stance here. Ooh, Frostbrand weapon. We could be seeing a melee frost build then. Uh, that could be pretty nifty with Maelstorm weapons. Let's see. Let's reroll these, shall we? They're going to be used this. Although I could go into defensive stance with these, actually. <laughs> this is a combo point generator. We want to reroll that. Immediately, unless we really want to go melee here. Scare beasts, uh, not sure about that. Before I reroll that, actually, we could be looking at the battle mage build maybe if we end up rolling ice lance later on, but that's not a guarantee. Let's keep getting rid of these. Drain life, no. Divine sacrifice, no. We're running out of rerolls here. Taunt, definitely, we have to get rid of. Shadow burn, I'll keep it, maybe we can get a pet. Resurrection, not really. Pyroblasts. At this stage, I'm not sure. I mean, this also gives us uh, frost damage, if I'm not mistaken. Exactly, frost spell damage. So we can just use it for that purpose. Pyroblast, on the other hand, it's not going to be particularly useful for a frost build. Devotion Aura. Mm. It's extra armor, though. I'd rather get rid of Scare Beast first. Let's see what we get. Mongoose Bites. No. Seal of Command. How many rerolls do we have? Zero. All right. So I'm afraid we have to go out and play and die a couple times so that we actually get to change our build here. All right. I'll put overpower here just in case if we're in melee range if we get dodged or parried. Conjure Water. We have life tap. We don't necessarily need it, but I'll have it. All right. My weapon hand is empty. Oh, boy. Okay, here we go. This is what you start with. So obviously we're going to go for uh, intellect. And as you can see, we've equipped all of these items. And we're given also some food and potions, which is very, very nice. This is the stone that we use. It's a heart stone, essentially, which brings us back to base here. All right. I'll show you around real quick before we start our journey. This is the new NPC. These are the fell challenges. And this menu gives you all the challenges, whereas the other menu is the rewards. So as you can see here, I'll go through some of them. The rewards are very, very nice. If you, if you can see it, 100 souls per challenge. Some of them are 50, most of them are 100, if I'm not mistaken. That's right. And as you can see, this one is, you can only get experience from PvP, a uh, tough challenge. You can only get experience from creatures or PvP, so no questing. You can only get experience, or dungeons, I suppose. You can only get experience from quests or PvP, interesting. You can only get experience from gathering, crafting and PvP. So, okay, these are very similar things. Damage it taken increased by 20%. Three hours to reach max level. Oh, that sounds ch too challenging for 50 souls. Well, maybe not because you can actually level up in about half an hour. So shouldn't be too complicated. You can no longer regenerate health. Stamina reduced by 5%. If you have a heal, not really too much of a problem, really. 
deals 5% of your maximum health every 3 seconds. That's a really challenging one. You're doomed. You, indeed, you're doomed. Contender. Kill experience while at a level disadvantage. That's an interesting one. Damage that reduced by 5%. And so on and so forth. I think I'm going to grab a couple of these. I think what I'll do... I don't want, really want to do quests right now. I'm going to try to do some of these challenges. Get experience from crafting, gathering and PvP. No. Quests or PvP. Three hours. Damage taken increased. That should be okay. <laughs> I'm not going to take Doomed right now. This is fine. This is fine. Uh, that's not okay. All experience gained by 10%. No. Chance to miss. Hell no. You think it's 10%? That's, that's fine. That's fine. Damage dealt. Ooh, that's, that's, that's a tough one. Um, it's poison you on hit. No thanks. Let's see. I build the dodge, block, or parry. That's also okay. 200 swords. 250 swords. Oh, some of these are pretty rewarding, actually. Maybe I should consider this. Ah, uh, that, that was too difficult, though, for the time being. We're just trying to die and come back, you know. Um, taking damage reduces movement speed. No thanks. Cost of your abilities. That's fine. Yeah, this is the uh, 50 swords. That's not worth it. <laughs> Hemophilia. Ooh. Uh, reanimate. 10%. That's okay, because we'll just get to level up faster. <laughs> Alright, let's see. So, let's activate all of these. This is going to be quite the challenge, guys. Look at these. I mean, <laughs> I don't know about you, but... Ah, and you complete them here, and then maybe you get to the next tier, I suppose? That's how you level up tiers, I think. Okay. And these are the rewards. You have some um, uh, cosmetics here. You have Felguard reskins, cosmetics, different models. You have an altar, you can actually buy a mystic enchantment altar with the Legion Crest currency from this NPC that will persist on all your characters, which is pretty, pretty good. These are the previous fell-touched cosmetics, if I'm not mistaken. And you also have this Fellblaze Inferno, which sounds pretty cool. I wonder what it looks like. Okay, let's keep looking around. This is basically a shop, right? And you can buy stuff here for money. It's always good. You don't have the armors here, you can buy the weapons here. And poisons, recipes, all the good stuff. We already have bags, so I'm not going to bother with that one. I am going to put these here though, just in case if you need it. And here's your bank, as you can see, 28 slots, pretty nice. Yeah, personal belong is also, this is your uh, personal bank if you have the DP item. And here we have the class training. Let's make sure every spell's up to, up to rank. Legion 4 caches. These caches you can also find out in the world, and these drop some good items, and you can buy these for an RNG loot box kind of experience for better gear, actually, um, because these will drop pretty much anything, this one in particular, 50 to 60 level gear. You know, you can just buy these with gold that you accumulate through questing, uh, killing mobs, and as well as killing people. Valforge progression. These, this is where you spend your souls. It's one of the shops. And these are basically uh, some nice scroll kind of effects, so to speak. Um, and you can buy these only once and then reuse them on any other Fellforge character you create. As it says, it's added to your collection to be used by your Fellforge characters. This one increases your movement speed after a kill, 60% for 4 seconds. 2% maximum health regen every second for 4 seconds after kills. These are everything on kill, like health restore, movement speed, mana... And this is riding. You can also buy riding scrolls, uh, riding uh, tomes in exchange for fell touch swords that you accumulate by completing these challenges and also killing people in PvP. Track humanoids, you have your very own special track humanoids, so you don't have to roll it necessarily, so you can actually find people, which is very, very nifty, handy. And uh, I believe this is Legion's lexicon. I believe this is a uh, spell book, if I'm not mistaken. You have a trinket here. You have bags, and you have these really nice heirloom items, actually. These scale with your level, as you can see, 1 through 80. Obviously, we are capped at 60, but these are very nice items, although they're a bit expensive, as you can see. So you would probably need more than a couple of runs to be able to get your hands on these. As it stands, we're probably looking at, I don't know, 400 souls, maybe, if you complete all these challenges. So as you can tell, these are plenty expensive, and they do give experience boost day so five of these items is another 50 percent experience boost oh, you even have capes six more of these items actually what else have you got here soul consumables your mystic runes orbs bloody jar apparently costs a soul i don't know why uh experience potions 50 percent 100 percent 
150, 200%. Immediate boost to level 30. Oh, that's only 10 levels, that shouldn't cost 100 souls in my opinion. 200 for uh, 40, 300 for 50. And you can actually get immediately to level 60. So rather than buying the heirlooms, although this is only a single character, and if you die, you lose it. So I guess it's justified to a degree. The cost of the heirlooms, I mean. Let's see what else we have. Now, this was for your Fellforge character's progression. And these are the consumables that also contribute to the progression of the particular character, right? These are the cosmetic rewards that people have been waiting for now. They're a bit expensive. This Fellstone in particular sounds very, very nice because this will allow you, with a three hour cooldown there, but this will allow you guys to teleport to any zone in Outland. Period. Because almost every zone in Outland, if I'm not mistaken, has a portal or two, these demonic gateways that you can use. And this is used to teleport you to one of those. That's, and this, this persists uh, beyond Fellforge characters. So you can use this on your normal characters, on any other realm also, once, you know, the merger happens or you transfer a character. Uh, the details of that are obviously a bit vague right now, but this is a very powerful item, I would say, in high risk. I'm not sure whether they're going to restrict this to no risk, we'll just need to wait and see, but for the time being, there doesn't seem to be any indication whatsoever in that regard. Uh, this one in particular is... A Mystic Enchant specific to Fellforged. I see. Whenever you deal damage, you have a chance to strike your victim with Fell Lightning. That sounds pretty scary. And we have our cosmetics, obviously, as usual. They're looking pretty good. Uh, I believe Legion, I Legion items? I think so. Now, this is the part that excites me perhaps the most, because, again, these will be able to use... You will be able to use these outside of Fellforged characters. And these are new, unique demon pets. So any of your characters that collect this item from your collection with the Tame Beast ability will be able to uh, tame these demons White Felbat, Felhound, Armored Soulhound, Felflame Talbuk I believe that's pretty much it, yeah, these, these four here right now here's the, here's the crux of the matter though these are not cosmetics guys these are going to be fully fledged custom ability uh, demon pets and they are going to be classified as demons not beasts so I'm very excited about that. The undead variants are also going to come based on the video, obviously. So we have no way of seeing those here right now. We have a cosmetic for your imp, which turns into a red imp. And we have a Illidari Feldstalker mount. We also have a Demon Hunter blindfold. That looks sexy. Ooh, this, this set actually, there's another cosmetic. This set looks pretty good. I like the headpiece. It's a bit cir too circular perhaps, but I like it. And we have our Legion orders here. These are the contracts which give you experience, as well as Mystic Orbs and Marks of Ascension for uh, your um, more Scrolls of Fortune. We should have a Scrolls of Fortune repeatable quest that we have to, we must pick. It will be pretty good for us. Let me try to locate it. Uh, this is our portal, this is what we're going to use in a second to spawn into the world. And let's go outside for a second. We have our mailbox here, we've got some new unread mail, let's see what it is. As usual, some mysterious scroll. And do we have anyth anyone to return this to here? Not really. Huh, maybe that's something that needs to be fixed. We have a boomer in cage here. Um, <laughs> Ethereal Bazaar, you can do your transmogs here. Fell Beastmaster, you must know how to- Ah, this is a actual Beastmaster, perfect. And Silas is in here. Now this browse goods doesn't work. But we can get our scrolls of fortune. Now, do I have thousand marks? Not yet. So unfortunately, we can't finish those. And look at this. This I love with a passion. You don't have training dummies here. You have experts training slave, <laughs> and you hit the hit these pool swords to test your damage. Oh, I missed. I just level sixty three. Obviously. Uh, do we have lower level ones? Not really. All right, so we'll have to level up to be able to use those properly. Uh, we have a sexy succubus here, obviously. Fell challenge reward. Uh, we get the rewards from this guy, apparently. For the Legion crests, I believe. We are going to test that momentarily. All right, I think we're pretty much set, guys. Uh, let's go into the world and let's see how the leveling experience is going to be. Oh, we have another transmogrifier here. And we have book here, even though we have the class trainer in that NPC also. Interesting. All right. Let's spawn, shall we? I have to, uh, I have to spend my talent points. All right, that's fairly easy in our case. Let's go full. Um, that's it, actually. I should have probably gone for um, the uh, th this one, maybe. <laughs> it's all right. Where's the Nation Whale? Let's go. As you can see, we're going to drop from the sky. And you can navigate. You can, you can steer the Ball of Inferno. 
Let's go to the quest, um, quest point. The whole area is a quest point, really. We just have to kill wildlife. And I'll demonstrate in a second, you'll see, if you drop on enemies directly, this Ball of Inferno actually damages them. So if I can aim on a... Um, I mean, 76 damage, not too much. <laughs> but there you go. There you go. Easy. We actually didn't get... Oh, reanimated. Re All right. We actually haven't leveled up yet. The um, XP rates actually seem a bit lower than what I was used to. Interesting. Oh, this is a rare beast. Oh, I don't want to die already. <laughs> ah, it's not It's not too difficult, actually. I hope it doesn't reanimate, though. Actually, no, you know what? I hope it reanimates. Ooh, we feared. It's all right. We have heal, guys. We, we're good to go. There we go. And we got a bunch of items, which is rare. Perfect. Create Hellstone. I forgot we had Shadowburn. We should make use of it. Hellstone, probably also convenience. Let's see. Should probably equip some of these also. But I'm gonna stick to the um, staff for the time being because we're a caster, obviously. Okay, let's speed things up a bit. I should use my shadow burn for a soul shard. Oh, there we go, you're frozen. Perfect. Now we can create our hellstone. Excellent. We also have our water if we ever need it. I believe you also have to, um, yeah, each, each time you'll have to use your talents to um, be able to get back into the world. So it does force you to make your build. But obviously, as you keep dying more and more, um, it's going to be easier to spend those talent points because um, you'll probably end up with a very, very nice level 20 um, build as your foundation, basically. And I would like to think that you would probably want to level all the way up to 60 at one go, so you don't necessarily have to be forced into spending your talent points unless you're sure um, what you're going to spend them on based on your early abilities. Because God knows what you're going to get at the latter levels. All right, we need to kill three more of these. I wish I had a mount at this point. There we go, level 24, new roll. Let's see what we're getting. Ah, not the best, not the worst. Cure disease. It does remove two diseases there in this instant, so it's not too bad. Quest right, complete. It. Our quest is complete, let's turn it in. And we've also got a bunch of, bunch of talents, obviously. Where do I turn this in? Demon contracts. Okay, you're gonna aggro me. The map is showing here. I don't think you can turn it in. It's just where the quest was. So we will have to teleport back. Let's do that. It's only a five minute on a five minute cooldown anyway, because we're gonna get a bunch of levels once we turn it in. And we can get a new new quest basically. And I believe if we hit 30, we will be able to spawn in a new zone. We get level we didn't level up. Ah, because we do have the challenge, which does not give us any levels <laughs> whatsoever from questing. So this is gonna take a longer while. We have to smell up talents. No problem. We know what we're doing here in terms of talents. And I believe I might want to put, let me see, one point into, maybe we can get uh, more mana back from life. I would actually like to put one into critical sweat chance. There we go. Because what is our crit chance right now? Very, very low. Aha, there we go. We can go to a better part of Ashenvale and we get to drop from the skies yet again. Little Ball Buster is progressing in his career as a uh, demon wannabe. Four Borgs lane. All right, let's find some Four Borgs and just kill them. Oh, you didn't die. There we go. We are getting a few items though. I'm, I'm pretty much quite liking it. At this stage, I believe um, perhaps an AOE build could be pretty nice to just gather these together and, you know, kill them all at the same time. In fact, we've aggroed more than one here. I could die here on purpose to demonstrate how that's going to be, but I think we'll wait a bit longer for that. There we go. We are also getting Marks of Ascension every level, guys. Just so you know, we could actually equip two items. Oh, what's that? Dealing non-periodic damage with fire. No, I don't have arcane or fire. Ooh, we got a shiny item. It's a two-hander, though. Not particularly useful for us, but let's see. We're leveling up now. What do we get? Concussor shots, uh, not too useless. All right, to say rare, and it respawned. All nice, we're 27 already. This does feel a bit slower than previous fell touches, if I'm being honest. We got a ring, where's our ring? Let's equip our ring. And one last fur bulk, and then we will be done. But again, we don't have to necessarily do uh, the quest really. I could just die here to demonstrate. So we haven't had amazing rolls. Probably want to. Um, I probably want to save this quest 
then die on purpose, and then turn it in uh, at level 20. But I'll probably, hold on, I'll probably want to um, drop my items into bank first, because I don't want to lose them. That would be pretty, pretty bad. Let's run here and use a bank. Probably put one of my bags in there. All right. Ah, oh, that, that can, ah, oh, that can also go. Not sure what I need the, um, ooh, maybe that could be useful. That one, not really. I believe the remaining ones we can just get rid of because we are going to level up so fast. So we could just sell them for gold. We could even sell these, actually. And also put our potions in here. That should be good. Now let's go and die, shall we? I believe we don't drop our bags, if I'm not mistaken. Talent points, for sure. Let's go to Eastern Ashen Vale and die a peaceful death. Just so we can reincarnate back at level 20. Alright, that seems fitting. Dying to an infernal. <laughs> kill him. Come on, kill little bull buster. You lived a short but fruitful life. There we go. I wonder what this is. You have to reload. Whenever you have that bug, guys, just reload. That's the easiest fix we have so far. Or relog if it still doesn't fix it. Grimoire of Demonic Empowerment. This begins a quest. Aha, we get, for dying, we get 1,000 Ascension Marks, which is pretty good. We haven't got uh, Scores of Fortune again, unfortunately. Not so fortune. Okay, um, let's see what we can do here. We could exchange it for one Scroll of Fortune, but maybe. Not yet. Let's get our provisions again, shall we? I didn't bother putting these into bank because obviously we're going to get them again. Uh, but we do have, as you can see, more potions. <laughs> All right, and I'm gonna get this back, the arrows back, and this back, and we should be good. Okay, this time around, I'm gonna get a different kind of challenge. Let's see what we should get. Damage taken increase is fine. The experience one, I'm not going to do it. That is also fine. That is fine. What about the 200 ones? That's more than okay. All right, I think these will do. Let's activate these. There are four challenges, and it should be good enough. Now we have talent points to spend should be good i think it reset the other quest though it has reset the quest so we can't do that um quest parking uh, thing anymore as we used to be able to in fell touch good to know so we'll have to pay more attention to that the, the next time Wait, does that mean i can repeat this quest again probably should have picked it up then yeah we probably should do that guys um since now we can actually get rewards from quests okay let's get our quest again and training it's been done already because these quests i reckon will give us lots of xp and we're back at it let's try to land on a uh, wolf or a what were they called again elks this ah so we land on a tree inside a tree <laughs> well there you go that's that's a uh that's definitely something you don't want to do here we go we're free now let's continue slaying the local wildlife you no longer have health stone who knows, maybe we'll be lucky enough to get a demonic pet now. These challenges do not feel that difficult, actually. Entangling roots. Not particularly useful, in our case at least. Oh, that was a deer. <laughs> oh dear. Wild buck. That's what they're called. Alright. I'm just trying to get to perhaps level... Ooh, there's a legion cache. Good time to demonstrate what those actually are. So this is also what you can buy from the NPC, as I mentioned earlier in return in exchange for gold as you can see we get some nice items from it i'm definitely going to keep this one because i also have a vigor enchantment on it that we can actually extract because it's a rare item we need to slay four more wildlife then we'll be able to see how much xp we actually get from the quests themselves oops we forgot our frost brand they're getting rather low level compared to us right now let's quickly get rid of the wildlife and go back to our merry base Obviously, at launch, it's not going to feel like this. They're gonna, this. This area, this zone is going to be brimming with people, especially at launch. So Quest complete. you should expect lots of PvP, lots of danger, people running left and right, trying to kill you because of the PvP experience that these guys, the uh, Felforge get, are very, very high. So it's a very efficient way of leveling up, actually, especially when the population is so high, especially at the beginning. All right, we've completed our quests. We can return to Twisting Nether. Spell is not ready yet. I presumed it was on a five minute cooldown. <laughs> Maybe we can already go to the next quest zone. It's, it's a bit of a walk though. I'd rather not. I'm unsure why it's telling me that I can't use it yet. Maybe it's actually not on a five minute cooldown. Maybe a bit higher. We can, we can hang around for the time being. It's not ready yet. Let's kill a bunch of others. 
Maybe we can get level 24 and see what spell we get. Maybe it's going to be a Void Walker, who knows? Alright, there we go. Let's return to base, turn in our quest and see how much XP we get. Yes, please. That was three levels, guys. I think questing might be the way to go. And we, yet again, got Create Healthstone. We don't have any scrolls of fortune yet, unfortunately. And we are going to see if we can buy one from Silas here. Because I do want to reroll. Maybe one spell, maybe we can... I mean, I'd rather actually save these for level 20. We can just die again. That's the whole gist of the game mode, actually. You just die till we get um, enough scrolls of fortune. Basically, you complete these challenges. Maybe you can complete it, you know, get to level 60. And die again, even at level 60, because your build wasn't so amazing. And then you continue. I have unspent points, obviously. Get some range on this. And this one. Can't get any new quests. Let's go to Eastern Ashramway. Let's kill some satires. Satir, satir, I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that, actually. Satire, satire is a... <laughs> no, I think it's satir. Oh, we can kill you. Hello there. There we go. No XP, no loot. So don't bother with those guys. I just want to test it because it still is the case right now. And I thought maybe, just maybe, those NPCs, those mobs now give XP. But alas, good to proceed killing our satir. And we miss. To be honest, I was expecting to take more damage with those challenges, to be honest with you. But that doesn't seem to be the case. These challenges seem rather easy. Damage taken increased by 20%. Perhaps uh, towards the latter stages, maybe higher tiers. Maybe at tier 10, this is not going to be 20%, it's going to be 80%. Who knows? We will just have to get there. And in PvP, obviously, it's going to be a huge disadvantage compared to other people, because obviously the people are not going to be as forgiving as uh, these mobs are. In fact, I'm going to equip that. We've got a bunch of spell power now. There we go, level 27. And I'm going to finish this quest and basically start wrapping it up, because uh, obviously, as you can tell, this is going to be alive. But imagine, just try to imagine it with lots and lots of people around. Very chaotic. People trying to hunt Felforged. Or trying to just level up their Night Elves, or anyone really, in Ashenvale. And basically other Felforge trying to kill you for your loot and for lots of XP to level up instantly. If I don't... Oh, Legion Cash. Nice. If I don't remember incorrectly, back then in Fel Touch mode, you could level up a bunch of levels, like 5 levels or something, with a single kill. So if that's still the case, that's going to be great. This should also give us XP. It hasn't. Interesting. Oh, that's the wrong one. It's all right. We'll, we'll manage to kill these. We have healing. We have potions if need be. Uh, yeah, we're going to die here otherwise, so I'm going to use the potion. We can heal a bit. Spells hurt because we, I think, we, did we get that? We haven't. Interesting. Spells always hurt though. <laughs> Even on uh, wild card or uh, free pick right now, if you just go over there, they always hurt. Another legion cache. These are very, very common. These are free gear, guys. But obviously, again, once this whole area is going to be filled with people, brimming with people, uh, it's not going to be so easy to... Um... Uh-oh, we're in trouble here. We're in trouble here. He's going to call on his friend. We have to kill him before he reaches there. Quest complete. Ah, it's too late. Kill another one. So those caches will probably be looted all the time. I'd like to think that their respawn rates are based on the amount of people in the zone, just like the mobs are in uh, no-risk mode. Um, but we'll just have to wait and see on that one because I don't have 2,000 people running around right now to see how it actually be like. Okay, our quest is already complete. We can go back to our base and turn in, it, turn in the quest and probably get level 31, I'm hoping, because we're very close to 29 right now. I'm not expecting a huge amount of levels based on the previous quest rewards, but let's see. Exactly, 31 and a half, pretty good. We got Blessing of Might. Not something I was really looking forward to. But and we also got Ancestral Spirit, apparently. And again, we have no Scrolls of Fortune. So again, guys, if you are not happy with your level 20 spells when you first come into this uh, Legion base, just remake the character. It's much, much faster than rerolling your existing abilities later on. Use the scrolls to refine the 20 build. And only after that, once you're done refining your 20 build, use further scrolls to refine your 60 build, and try not to die once you have a good build going, obviously. Let's put our blues here, our rares, and the rest, as usual, I'm going to sell, because gold persists, and we need... Oh, we did sell... 
I'm not going to use that. I'm, not even, I'm even going to sell my uh, uh, food and drinks, actually, because I really don't need them. Life tap and holy light are more than enough. And we can also sell these two. There we go. I can even sell these, actually. And my other drink. Perfect. Now, let's actually get a scroll of fortune from Silas. It's not that it disappears later on, anyway. So let's just do that. Get it out of the way. Uh, we can't. I wonder why that is. Can you only do it when you're level 20? Curious. Okay. And can we take on any other challenges after the fact? Let's try. Only can it be accepted at level 20. Okay, so we can't. And they're bound to us till we die, basically. Let's level up our spells. See if we can get anything else. And we can. I think quests are the way to go. As is used to be case um, back in Feltouched. Alright, one last run. And then... I'm going to wrap it up, guys. Don't want to take too much time going around, killing mobs and questing, basically. Let's do that one. And we're now going to Desolus. And again, since there are going to be so many Felforge characters, at least I expect there to be, because it's a new mode, you know, making a return with improvements, people will naturally want to play this a lot, at least on at launch. And I do know for a fact that lots of players are going to come back just for this mode and for this League server. Not for the mode alone, but for a fresh League server. With a 60 cap, so these zones are going to be full of Felforge characters for you to kill. Or team up with, who knows. So what are we killing here? Wildlife, okay. Oh, that's a rare. That's a rare, we have to kill that one. Okay, let's go. We're Frostbolt, I'm pretty confident. We can just kite it if he stop missing. I'm actually afraid we're going to run out of mana here. I do have a life tap, but um, let's see how much he hits me for. Hmm, he couldn't hit me. Ah, oh, it's not much. Okay, we can just tank it. There we go. Level 33. Rares are the way to go, for sure. Focus magic, not something great. We've been having awful rolls here, guys, and, and, and not a legion cash. Okay, let's go for it. We have the inventory space. There we go. Really quickly gonna kill these. 10 mobs, well, nine mobs now, and we're gonna go back to the base, and I'm gonna wrap up. I'm just gonna go briefly through all the rewards and the challenges again, just hover over them one by one so you guys can see, pause the video, have a look, just as so, some uh, community service, really. There we go, level 34. Let's see what we're rolling. Ah, Serpent Sting. This build is not going as planned at all. But again, all we need is Frostbolt, so it's not so bad. I mean, you can continue. This is what I'd advise to you. You can get a really nice solid base build with a certain spell such as Frostbolt, or light, could be uh, Lightning Bolt, could be Wrath, uh, to basically do the content with, to do the quests, to collect souls, be able to kill people. So something sufficient in itself without the dire need to roll other spells for it to be viable. If you can get such a build going at level 20, you'll be fine at least farming the Scrolls of Fortune and farming the souls and the challenges. So that's that's my recommendation for you. That's probably the best advice one could give pertaining to uh, Felforged. Because at the end of the day, don't I mean you can be very lucky, but don't expect to get the best build out there immediately with Felforged. The whole game mode revolves around dying several times, numerous times, and trying to work towards that perfect build. So in a sense, you could actually argue that it could be um, a bit more, a bit faster to. Uh, get some skill cards and roll a normal character and get the build you want on that character. But obviously this is a separate fun mode, so it won't give you the same kind of flavor, so to speak. There are lots of exclusives here and you will probably want to do this Felforge mode mostly for the cosmetics, as well as the non-cosmetic rewards, the uh, demon pets, and that's Felstone, that's sweet, sweet Felstone. It's very good. All right, I think we're going to hit 36. Yes. It's like about two, two to two and a half levels each time. Again, a very scuffed roll. I'm not too bothered about it. It's just a, just, just to showcase to you what the mode feels like. So now I'm going to go over the challenges and rewards once again. So you can feel free to pause and give it a read and have a look at the tooltips. See if there's stuff that you'll like to have. There you go. These are the um, challenges, each with different soul rewards some 250 even so at tier 10 i imagine <laughs> those are going to reward plenty of souls making these runs much much faster again back then during fell forged it used to be so that the 
uh, the soul rewards are just tied to, you know, PvP. I believe some quests also gave you some souls, but mainly you would have to farm PvP to get your souls, and that could be a hassle, especially when there were not many people left around after a while. I don't imagine that this mode will die as quickly as the Feltouch did back then, because it's a bit more fleshed out, there are challenges, and there are more rewards. This certainly feels more rewarding in that sense. If you play all those cosmetics, guys, they, they look so good. And the mound, and the pets. Pets in particular, and the Feldstone. That's what I'm looking forward to. The, um, I guess we've done already. Uh, these are the caches. I believe that's pretty much it, actually. Yeah, this is what I'm looking forward to. Feldstone and the four, be, uh, four tame, tame demons. Tame, tame demons, rather. All right, guys, that was a uh, rather long glimpse into <laughs> Felforged in development realm. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you some insight into what to expect in about nine days. So this is going to be launching again on 29th of January. Make sure to tune into the channel, uh, subscribe, hit the like button, hit the notification bell and comment down below. It really helps the channel and it will also give you notifications obviously for future videos as well as streams. So thank you very much for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Take care.